Hey tribe and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, don't doubt yourself for anyone who is needing to hear this message right now. It says, I am always enough and not to doubt yourself. I feel like this is something that you guys, um, are realizing or something that you've been kind of struggling with in regards to just, um, your confidence and believing in yourself. Crazy enough. This is the believe in your own magic Oracle deck. So just feeling very inspired to use it for you all today. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is a Mercury retrograde reading, okay? For the collective, all signs, all placements, does not matter um, who you are, you may be able to find something in this message for you. So Mercury retrograde is in full effect. Um, I believe it started like the 13th of January and it's supposed to last through the 3rd of February. Um so if you aren't aware of what it is, um, just a little snippet is when the planet goes backwards or it, at least it seems to be traveling backwards, okay, um, in the planetary alignment. And usually with Mercury retrograde, it affects communication heavily. So all forms of communication, um, speaking, you know, emails, phones, um, any type of written communication, any, it's really known for mishaps to happen. It also affects like travel, you know, your cars and just any means of travel and things like that. Um, and a lot of, it's usually a very heavy, um, period of like reflection. So you reflecting on certain situations in your life. Um, it is a, a time frame where people tend to, possibly come back or try to come back into your life people that you have let go of no matter the type of relationship dynamic um so just do your own research on mercury retrograde i'm just interested to see what the energy is looking like for the collective so if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you guys so um, two songs I channeled. The first song I got, um, was Marvin's Room by Drake. And instantly, y'all, like instantly when a song comes on, I was just so, um, just so through, just so through with the energy. So something here is very old and tired. Okay. I feel like you guys are, um, it's like something is beneath you now, or you're just completely over some sort of um situation in your life or some sort of dynamic um relationship dynamic there's something here or someone and it's like the same story it's almost like the same sad story or someone with a victim mentality so if you have been you know involved with anyone like this or just people like this in general you are wanting i feel like you're wanting to distance yourself from something is very um a situation person relationship is very taxing on your energy and i feel like mercury retrograde is a time frame where you guys are really seeing that you know seeing the situation seeing the person for who they are and it's almost like something or someone like they don't want to change somebody's comfortable being in this like like sappy feel sorry for me victim mentality um and this can be any type of person from your past coming back um somebody you, you've separated from or maybe someone you're choosing to separate from during mercury retrograde and even if this is yourself okay so maybe you are being real with yourself um knowing that you've been in this low vibration or you know depression whatever it is this victim mentality and this is you letting that part of yourself go realizing that you need to change so take it however it resonates for you um for a lot of you guys it could be you but i really feel like it's an external energy the next song i got was was miss jackson by outcast um so I feel like this is, I feel like you guys' energy is represented by that song. I kind of feel like the Marvin's Room energy is someone else, okay, in regards to you. And the Miss Jackson song is just basically, you know, it's like you take care of everything. You pay the bills, you pay the rent, you do this, you do that. It's like you're a master manifester. It's like you 
it feels like you just you're this go getter type of energy. Um, and it feels like a lot of you guys were carrying someone else for so long. So this can be friends, family member. For some of you guys, you know, if you have adult children, this could be your children, or it could be, you know, like your parents. This could be um ex-lovers, lovers, you know, whatever it is, whoever it is for you, co-workers, you know, this could uh play out in your workplace as well. So it kind of just feels like you are very fed up. I feel like you've been carrying someone or a certain situation for so long and it's like this person, the situation hasn't changed. It's still the same same sad story it's still the same victim mentality so i'm hearing sorry not sorry it's like sorry but not really because i feel like you know you've spent a lot of time and your energy dedicated to a particular situation connection relationship whatever it is for you and nothing has changed so moving forward is i feel like mercury retrograde is really an energy of you guys moving forward it's supposed to slow down things um but for you guys i feel like it's kind of boosting it it's boosting your energy it's boosting your forward movement um it's like completely being finished with something and, and moving forward so let's see what comes out with the believing your own magic um oracle deck let's see Ooh. so we have which it says justice is coming i feel like you guys are going to get some sort of justice you deserve um nothing malicious but i feel like this is just you and the energy of going after what you want and it says sundress do it for you yeah everything you guys are doing at this moment in time um the energy of mercury retrograde and going forward you are doing things for you what did i say not for anybody else i feel like you've been carrying other people other people's burdens other situations for so long and now you've decided to you know retract your energy pull back your energy and whatever it is you're doing you're doing it for yourself however the energy of Marvin's room, Drake in that song, feel like somebody might be trying to guilt trip you or playing the victim or gossiping or telling other people how you did them wrong or whatever, because you cut off your energy. But this is somebody that was draining you. This is a situation that was draining you. Escapists, come home to yourself. Yeah, you guys have escaped some sort of dynamic here. You're choosing to pour back into yourself. What else is this? storm every hurricane comes to an end all right so i feel like you took initiative justice is coming you took initiative to end some sort of never ending story never ending cycle it really feels heavy like somebody was just stuck in a very low vibration um and that pulled you into that low vibration or this was just you you know however it's resonating for you but it's like taking your power back at the bottom of the deck we have universe it says we're all just stardust um I'm getting from this, we all have the same time. Like we all have the same 24 hours. Like we all are here. We all are capable. We all can get out and get whatever it is that we want. However, some of us, you know, take advantage of that. And some of us depend on others to do things for us. So that could be a situation that you're dealing with. Um, and then we have be honest with yourself. Okay. So um, this is a shocking be honest with yourself. A lot of you guys are reflecting on situations where you gave entirely too much. You did entirely too much. Um, you just, you just did the most. And I feel like, um, you might have been caught up in some sort of cycle here, working a job or in some sort of social circle in a relationship. You were so caught up. You couldn't even really see how it was affecting you. But now that you've taken your power back or escapist, you've escaped from whatever this energy was, it's really shocking to see like how something had a hold on you. All right, so let's put these cards up. Let's go to the Psychic Oracle deck, see what comes out. Yeah, look at this, obstacles and challenges, all right? This is a leap of faith, all right? Either that you've taken or you will be taking during Mercury Retrograde. I feel like a lot of you guys watching this have already took this leap of faith. Um, there was some sort of obstacle here. Fives represent challenge. Look at this, moving forward. Look at this. I cannot make this up. Behind this, you have your third eye chakra, okay? Your intuition. Your intuition could have been blocked. Some sort of situation could have been blocking you. Um, or all along, you were fighting your intuition due to whatever reasons. Wanting to help someone out. Um, thinking somebody would change. Thinking a situation would change. But I feel like deep down inside, you always kind of knew something wasn't right here. So now you're moving forward. 
Um, and exactly what I said, Mercury retrograde, you guys are in the energy of moving on, not staying stagnant, just moving forward. We got the crown chakra, mind made up, balance. Like, you know, you are the magician. You have all the tools here to start this new beginning. There's something you guys close the chapter on. This is a brand new phase, a brand new chapter. Um, and honestly, Mercury retrograde just might be a lot of deep healing. Okay. Just reflection, deep healing, um, setting boundaries, promising, you know, making vows to yourself to never go back to a certain way of thinking, being, living, connection, whatever it is for you. All right. So let's see. That flipped out crazy. The waiting game. Okay. I feel like too, um, something about the timing, it's like you guys are putting in a lot of work either towards yourself or towards your work, your business, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Um, you're pouring a lot of energy back into yourself, replenishing the energy. Cause I feel like something has drained you balance. Look at this balance and material and spiritual prosperity here. So that's what's to come spirit. What messages do we have for the collective? Mercury retrograde. I saw the choices and decisions card. So I feel like you guys are cutting things out, making executive decisions, um, simplifying. You're finding ways to simplify your life. This material and spiritual prosperity came right back out again. We also have trapped in fear here and we have crown chakra. Okay. So be cautious. You aren't overthinking this abundance that's coming into your life. Okay. Be cautious that you aren't allowing fear to kind of just, um, take over your whole entire being because things look very promising for you, okay? So let's see. I, something had you trapped in fear. Something had a hold on you. Something or someone had a hold on you, and I don't necessarily think it was blocking your blessings, but it was definitely hindering you. Something had you really in your head, fearful, not knowing what was going on, like really mentally. Something had a mental hold on you, something or someone, all right? And whatever that is, I feel like you, again, you've taken the initiative to let that go, to take your power back. All right, let's see what this card is. The base chakra, yeah, firm foundation, starting all over, security. All right, let's see, spirit. Messages for the collective, Mercury retrograde. What's going on with the energy? Also, you guys, I just want to shout out one of my friends, Yana. She gave me this really beautiful rose quartz bracelet here. Um, and I wore it in the weekly readings for you all for this week, but I meant to shout her out. She's so sweet, so kind. Um, one of my good Pisces friends. So shout out to her. But we have disruption, right? Ooh, the start. So this, I do not think this is you. I don't think this is y'all energy. Like disruption, somebody is very, I'm getting tantrum. Um, like throwing a tantrum like a child. Somebody's upset here. Somebody's upset with you. Choose wisely, okay? Or this is a person or a situation, okay, that you are well aware of that could be affecting you. Somebody that's just not in alignment and it's that energy is kind of, it can affect you. So that's why we have choose wisely. Yeah, we have the throat chakra. It's about being honest with yourself, being honest with your truth here, regardless of whoever else's feelings might be involved, regardless of anyone trying to project certain energies onto you. We have the hope card here. Okay, this is a wish that's being granted to you. All right, and we got the shadow out of the darkness into the light. I, I say it and I see it every time I get this card here. Um... But you made a choice to cut something off. Whatever had you in this energy, okay? It's the energy of like hurt people, hurt people, or misery loves company or something like that. Somebody who's very like not in alignment, low vibrational, disturbed, some sort of situation, work environment, whatever it is for you. Um, I feel like you chose wisely and you chose yourself. You chose your truth here. And because of that, you guys are being granted some sort of wish. Whatever this wish is for you, whatever this peace of mind is for you, you're being granted something, okay? Star card energy is just healing as well. So you could be feeling very whole, very at peace um, during this time. Again, when time, when things are supposed to be, you know, chaotic, people are freaking out, Mercury is in retrograde, things are going wrong. Like, I feel like you are still, you hold some sort of inner peace. So your day can completely go left. And I feel like it won't affect you or it won't affect you, you know, the way it used to. Things can go wrong. You can have something planned and it just doesn't go as planned, but you you are still content within. So let's see. 
discontent and boredom. Yeah, somebody, someone like either someone has nothing going on. The discontent and boredom with this disruption, this is somebody who is not ambitious or someone who is not like laziness, somebody who's very content. They don't take any type of initiative in regards to their life. This is somebody that was very codependent on you or very codependent dynamic here. Um, and they're still stuck in that same energy. So hence, you know, just emphasizing you guys moving forward. That Marvin's room is just like, is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. And I feel like a situation, a person relationship really left a bad taste in your mouth. Um, and you just have to choose you. You have to choose up. So let's see. The waiting game. Yeah, it was only a matter of time here also. Um, I feel like something or someone just kept you waiting. There was no movement. There was no growth. There was no expansion. There was no life. There was no oxygen. Like, it's almost like you were being smothered. Like, you couldn't breathe in whatever type of situation this was for you. All right? And then we have the solar plexus. This is all about action. It's right underneath the throat chakra. So, you guys are being very honest with yourself. You're being very honest with other people. Very vocal about your boundaries and what you want. Your expectations. What you expect out of other people. And not settle for less also just holding yourself accountable and what you expect out of yourself suffering in silence yeah you've been suffering in silence and dealing with whatever this situation this dynamic um was for so long but now mercury retrograde this is that this is that reward that's coming in for you this is that wish come true this is that healing this is that guidance this is that um divine intervention like your spirit guides for everything that you have been through, I feel like, yes, you were suffering in silence. A lot of you guys have been suffering due to you doing for other people, as we should. But I feel like a lot of you guys, it's been to, you know, a fault. So you're learning how to um, distribute your energy in ways that is healthy for you and healthy for others. You're learning to discernment to recognize when something or someone just isn't worth your time and i feel like a lot of your hurt and trauma and pain of the past the recent past has come from you trying to build someone else up you trying to take people along with you you trying to help people out um so it was genuine it was from the heart and whatever happened people didn't want to move out of their own way they didn't appreciate you they wronged you you know they backstabbed you you are being rewarded for that okay so let's see one more car spirit and we got new beginnings. Look at this shit. Look, shadow with new beginnings out of the darkness into the light. Y'all are through. Y'all are done with something. Like when I tell you, um, it's giving the energy of like burning bridges. Like I feel like someone has burned their bridge with you. Some sort of situation has burned their bridge with you. And it's like when you are done, you are done. And I feel like it took a lot for you to get to this point. You learned a lot of hard lessons. Um, but ultimately you've grown from this, all right? You've grown from whatever this is or was for you. Solitude. So now it's back to yourself, back to the drawing board, okay? Um, this is hermit energy. This is Virgo energy. The hermit is very wise, very knowledgeable. The hermit goes within to heal, you know, his self, herself, um, to learn the lesson so that you can come back out a better person and to teach others. So a lot of you guys might be teachers. You might be mentors. Um, you just might be very wise. Maybe people come to you for advice. Um, you might be spiritual leaders. You could be tarot readers. You could be, you know, just anything. Um, but you are on a continuous growth journey. Like you live and you learn and you move forward. You know better and you do better. And this is you separating yourself from people, places, things, situations that cannot, do not refuse to do so. All right, emotional withdrawal. Yeah, a lot of healing, patience, something about water, watering yourself. Look at this, material harvest. What did I say? Patience with this seed, material harvest. So somebody needs to hear the energy of just keep going, keep watering yourself, just keep going. Whatever it is that you are working towards, just keep going. You will see the fruits of your labor. Um, also water. I feel like a lot of you guys... Um, maybe submerging yourself in water or something about water is very healing for you we have temptation and we have foundation and achievements and transformation and this temptation is whatever this toxicity is whoever this disruption um this person that's bored and content somebody just doesn't it's like stuck somebody's like a log or a rock okay or you're coming out of a situation that was like that um and it may be trying to pull you back in, especially during Mercury Retrograde. So just keep that in mind. Whoever, whatever this is for you, may be trying to pull you back in. Solitude is telling you and emotional withdrawal, take your emotions out of it. Okay, so maybe you, again, you're very kind-hearted. You have a lot of love for people. You want to see people do well. 
this particular individual or situation for you, the people who are involved, they know that. So they may play on your emotions. They have been playing on your emotions. And the message for you is to take your emotions out of it. Think logically about things, okay? Um, so let's see. Extra messages for the collective spirit during Mercury retrograde. What's going on? Anything that may be happening, anything we need to look out for, clarity, confirmation, spirit for the collective of people. If you're interested in a private reading with me, you guys, please check out the description box below for all the information. We got the Eight of Swords that popped out here and we got the Ace of Pentacles, okay? We also have the Five of Swords and we have the Four of Swords. Somebody wants to stop your money or somebody wants to stop your abundance. Like it makes somebody very upset because you are so um abundant i wanted to say because you are so emperor but or empress so you could be um you're embodying the the emperor empress energy you could be aries taurus libra but somebody's upset because of your manifestations here okay in their head about your money about what you're doing about your success and that's possibly adding to why this person is not in the same energy too worried about what you're doing um or just people it doesn't have to be a particular person it could be more than one person for you five of swords it's like they resent you for bouncing back or they resent you for being valuable or resent you for having some sort of like knowledge or information um for swords that they don't have or it's like they're trying to bring a stop to it. Nine of Pentacles here and the Knight of Swords. Like somebody wants you to be miserable, okay? Because you, because they are miserable or you have chosen to take back your energy, okay? Spirit messages for the collective. Mercury retrograde. Let's see what comes out. Any extra messages? I'm feeling the energy of you guys giving something or someone back to, like giving it back to wherever they came from, wherever the problem started, giving somebody back to the streets, giving somebody back to their parents, giving, it's like you're giving the energy back or you're releasing the energy back, whatever this low vibrational energy is, um, you're releasing it. It's a lot of releasing. You were carrying and holding on to a lot of problems and burdens um, and traumas and karma of others that was not yours. And I feel like you guys are really giving it back. That's what I'm getting as I keep looking at this card here on the side. So let's see, Spirit. The Magician. All right. Oh, see what I say? Hermit energy. Here's the Hermit here. All right. So, oh, ooh. okay. So um, Mercury retrograde, right? Mercury uh, ruling planet for Gemini and Virgo. So those with, you know, those placements in your chart, it may affect you a little bit more so. The Magician represents Gemini and Virgo. The Hermit represents Virgo. So what's taking place here? Something about like knowledge or an upgrade and in information, spiritual information, spiritual upgrade. Um, you guys, it's something about upgrading here. All right, let's see what else. This is what's happening during Mercury Retrograde. Six of Cups, King of Wands. Okay, ooh, Seven of Swords. You are um, definitely, what did I say? The past, right? The number six could be significant, but the past, the Six of Cups is the past here. And it's like you're seeing somebody as a manipulator possibly, or you're seeing how some sort of situation, relationship person in your past um. Mm, I just keep getting manipulation. I can't help but see that with the magician here, we also have the seven of swords and the king of wands. Somebody could have like, it's like they they manipulated your, your energy or your kindness or the way that you give to get what they wanted out of you. Um, and you're seeing that about the past. It could be an actual fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, does not have to be. Um, but somebody was fake or wasn't truthful. Somebody was like a false prophet or like, false person in your life um this is somebody who presented themselves to have it all together to be righteous um to be you know to believe in god or a higher power it's like they presented this image to the world but behind closed doors this person was very fake this could be a fake friend a fake you know friend ex-friend lover ex-lover here you're seeing the truth of somebody's ways manipulative ways here all right what else Five of Cups, yep. Yeah. Something did not work out for these people or for this person here, or this is just you dropping this manipulative energy with the magician. You're finding out something, okay? And I feel like whatever you're finding out, it's like you either already intuitively knew it or the information, it's like 
you're you're getting information through the spirit world, like your intuition. Um, so it might not necessarily be something as tangible proof. It can or can't, you know, may not be, but it's almost like you're getting spirit messages about a particular situation here, okay, in your recent past. Nine of Cups. Yeah, the Hermit card. You're seeing somebody presented. There was an opportunity, a person, relationship that was like fooling you, tricking you, was giving trickster energy. Nine of Cups presented themselves as the Nine of Cups, or at least you viewed this as the Nine of Cups at one time. But seeing through somebody's real ways, their true colors, and seeing that it was really a Five of Cups type of situation here. All right, what else, Spirit? The Strength card, yep. The strength card with the six of cups. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Leo. All right. Don't have to be, but this is a strength to move past the past. All right. Something was, somebody was like selling you a dream or false hope. Some, it's just very fake, very fake energy. Um, and it had you really wrapped up in your head. Something about, for some of you guys, this could be actual, you know, spiritual manipulation, some sort of spell work here, or just somebody who was very good at talking, okay? Really good at talking, not really doing the work. And I feel like the well just ran dry. Like you, you're you seeing something for what it truly is here. Page of Cups, yeah. So they presented themselves as a king of wands or a queen of wands, okay? Um, not gender spe specific here, but the king of wands is somebody of action, you know, somebody that shows up but in reality behind closed doors or on inside this person was a page of cups not a king but a page somebody who's a taker somebody who's very draining of your energy somebody who is very um low vibrational when it comes to emotions or just any other area of their life here and you put a stop to it look at this a heart stop this seven of swords whatever they were trying to get away with look at this king of wands with this seven of swords it's just giving very sly sneaky type of energy um and somebody just really thought they had one up on you or you they were going to get away with it or that you were like stupid or dumb like no you were never stupid you were never dumb you were never unaware a lot of you guys knew this person was on bullshit but the goodness in you again being kind to a fault kind of just led you to keep trying to help this person thinking that they were changed, but somebody underestimated you, okay? People who have underestimated you, you've put a hard stop to this and they are definitely feeling some type of way with this disruption card here, all right? Trying to figure out how to trigger you, how to get you to fall back into the trap. But I'm hearing last time was the last time, like that was it for you. When you're done, you're done. What's at the bottom spirit? Eight of swords, yep. And this is them in their head. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be. Nine of Pentacles, okay? Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Full Card. Like somebody's very manipulative and vindictive and feeling some type of way because you are no longer choosing to do the work for them. That's literally what I'm getting here. So a lot of releasing of that energy in Mercury Retrograde, not being sorry about it, healing, expansion, moving forward. Let's just pull a card from Divine Doris deck to wrap it up. We have patience at the bottom. It says everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. I'm not even going to pull a card. I pre-shuffled these before starting the reading. Um, out of the, This is everything I just said. Out of the darkness into the light. You're seeing somebody's true colors. You could be finding out about certain betrayals or backstabs or just certain things um, you might have you know, had a hunch about, but didn't really know. And I feel like these things, this information, some sort of information is just coming to you. You're not looking for it. You're not looking back. You're not focused on the past, but the way karma is playing out, the way things are in alignment with this Mercury retrograde, you're get, getting all the answers, all the clarity, all the confirmation you need about whoever, whatever. And it's just coming to you. You just have it like that. You just have the gift of gab. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Leave me a message below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.